Hi there, I'm Tony Glenn. Philly wet here at the 2014 Southern Field Days. A little bit of mud about, not too bad. Let's go and see what some of our friends are up to around the place. What brings you to the field days? Tractors, mate. Tra do you love tractors? Oh, I like tractors, mate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Are you like these kids that get on and just take the knobs off them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put my muddy footprints everywhere. They do a very good job, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, no, it's growing all the time, so stop stone throwing, <laughs> stone thrones at me. <laughs> Had a couple of hineys, so it's just oh, yeah. going quite well, yeah. What's your highlight of the field days? Um, well, it's not the weather. No, no. <laughs> yeah. Ah, a few deals, a few, yep. few beers, it was bloody good. Well, you wouldn't believe it, but the kids are pretty hard on the machinery here at the field days. Yesterday morning, that was brand new. Hey, can I say hello? Hello. How's it going? Have you had a good day at the field days? What's been your highlight today at the field days? Um, Getting balloons. Getting balloons from the Southern Field Days. And who, what the hell happened to your face? Um, it got face painted. Face painted. How much did that cost? Three. Three dollars. Free. Oh, it was free? I was going to say it was cheap at three dollars. Looks cool. Are you going to wash it off before you go back to school? Probably not, because they ask me we're allowed to. You're allowed to wear it to school. You'll be the coolest looking kid at school. See you later. One of the many new additions to the field days, the southern field days this year, is this big covered structure here, the cow shed. Have a look inside. Where have you come from? Hawke's Bay. Yep. You got the ovens here and everything? Yeah, we have. Yeah. They find the south and south is fairly good? Yeah, mostly. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I believe you're a Southlander, so they're mostly good, yeah. yeah and what do, you, yeah, what do you think is the highlight of the, uh, the field days? Oh, there's no question that the uh, people here yeah. have been fantastic. They're very genuine. Uh, we've enjoyed the people more than anything. Mark Dillon, you're the chairman of the Southern Field Days. How long have you been involved with the Field Days, Mark? Uh, about 15, 16 years I've been on the committee. Just started off as a boy in the, in the crowd and then uh, worked my way up through the ranks. And yeah, I've been chairman for the last six years. Now, how does the committee work? They they own the property? Yeah, we own the property here, 150 acres of ground we own, and yeah, there's 50 acres of sites, or 20 hectares of sites, and the rest car parking and working demonstrations. You've got a lot of volunteers? Yeah, there is, there's 21 of us all in the committee. Yeah, and yeah, there's only one of us, uh, Sharon, our secretary, is the only paid position, the rest of us are volunteers, we donate our time. Yeah. Yeah. Can you tell us, Mark, a bit about the growth of the field days over the last few years? Yeah, well, last field days, 2012, we had uh, 603 exhibitors this year, we're up to 790. Uh, yeah, 790 or 789, so yeah, the growth's been great. I suppose it's on the back of the economy and certain areas are coming along pretty good. Yeah. Now, fairly good infrastructure here. Yeah, new cow house construction in Southern Field Days, Agri Centre's down there. We've got 180 stall holders in there, and they'll be really happy on a day like this in there. And there'll be a lot of people in there keeping out of the, out of the weather and the, the elements of Southland. Yeah. You got a bottle of whiskey there for the chairman? Uh, there'll be a bottle of gin sneaking out on Friday night. See you there. Well, we've got a few hot looking chicks here from the Dairy Women's Network. Done. Kathy, yes. what's going on with Dairy Woman? Oh, we're a we're a busy, busy organisation, and we're um we're lucky today, and we're here with ASB, who are one of our gold sponsors. And today, I'm lucky to be joined with um Katrina and Rachel, who are our local conveners yep. down here. So. We're just a network that's picking up speed in the dairy industry. I wish I was a woman. Yeah, well, you can still right. join Tony. Okay. You can still join. Do you have men coming yes. along to the meetings? Yeah. We're here in the elders' tent with uh, Stu Chapman. Stu's the managing director of elders for New Zealand, and having a, having a good field day there, uh, Stu. Yeah, we are. We're uh, primarily here on uh, wool business with Elders Primary Wool, the joint venture with the cooperative. Yeah. And uh, it's an opportunity for us to uh, thank our clients and uh, for the, and appreciate the business they do with us. Let's go inside and see how the police are getting on here at the Southern Field Days. How's it going? I'm Tony Glynn from Royal TV. How's things? Hi Tony, good things. Nice backdrop we've got there with yep. the cannabis. It is good, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Now what about cannabis growing fairly well in Southland this season? I haven't found any myself, <laughs> but but it'll be there. Yeah. It'll be out. There's a there's a few places that we're looking at yeah. that are areas of interest. Yeah. And um and I think it's coming into March. March will be our time. Well, March is the time. They'll be going in and harvesting. Oh yeah. Yeah. Anywhere between January and March. But if there's any suspicious vehicles out there, we've been getting some good reports from members of the public. Yeah. Just odd vehicles that shouldn't be up certain roads that sort of give us an indication of where there might be some plots. But 
And we've still got our national cannabis program as well, where they come in and do the flyover with the helicopter and stuff. So we're trying, yeah, but yeah. It's, a, it's just an ongoing battle, really. Yeah. But it's up to the public to, to keep us informed of, of areas of interest anyway. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, no, get rid of it. Keep the price up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Blair Evans here with ASB at the Southern Field Days. What's your role with ASB, Blair? Uh, I'm the regional manager for the last South Island for the rural team. Yep. So uh, we're out here for three days promoting our brand and just what's going on out here. So it's been, been pretty good so far. Yeah, plenty of visitors coming through, good yeah, clients. Yeah, we've got our barbecue here. We've got, um, you know, just good hospitality. So we're getting quite a few through. Well, we've had a fantastic time here at the 2014 Southern Field Days. A fairly good example behind me of the way technology's going here. And I just look forward to coming back in two years' time to see what we haven't thought of yet. I'm Tony Glynn and we'll see you soon.